Welcome to the Telium MarTech Challenge, Impression Tracking for Publishers. My name is Dan George, and I'm the Solutions Consulting Operations Manager at Telium. So for the publisher websites out there, you may want to be able to tie impression data back to your visitors. For example, which advertisers are displaying ads on your website and what those creative IDs are. And you can take that information, apply it to your visitors, and get more insight about your visitors. So today we're going to talk about how to do just that. In my example that we have today, we're using DFP. Um, I do have some display, display ad inventory available. And within that inventory, I'm going to trigger the Telium Collect API as part of DFP's third-party impression URL. So let's actually see this in action. As you can see in Telium IQ, I'm calling the Google Publisher tag. And uh, DFP is responsible for um, returning what ads to display to uh, based on the GPT call. Um, within DFP, in order to make that third-party impression URL, which I'll show you in a minute as part of the ad creative, we need some macros. And these, these macros allow us to see, example, who the advertiser is or what the creative ad ID is um, that was served out to the visitors. So we need to include that in a call, and that call will look similar to what you see up top. And this is encoded specifically for the third-party impression URL within DFP. Um, and you notice all of these encoded figures here, but I provided a quick breakdown of what each of those uh, macros mean. And if we unencode it, it's a lot easier to read. So you can see this is just an object of data using the DFP macros that we were mentioning earlier. So here's the advertiser ID, and here's that creative ID. So we'll take this call, we'll go into DFP, and when we edit the settings of that creative, you see this third-party third impression URL input box where you can paste the contents into it. And from here, once you save your impression, anytime that impression loads on the website, it's going to load and trigger the Telium Collect service and pass that information over to the UDH. So let's see that in action here. I'm going to go to um, Enrich, I'm sorry, Discover Live Events. And I'm going to go to my TeliumMedia.com webpage where I have that creative displayed. So you can see Build Your Marketing Cloud. And here's where it can load. There are actually two creatives we have loading here, just FYI. So you may see the other one load. So here's that. Um, here's the other creative that loads. If I refresh this again, eventually the Build Your Own Marketing Cloud will come back like what we see here. But what you can see is there are three calls being made. So um, if I filter on i.gif, this is the pixel request that Tilium makes out to the UDH to pass information about what's going on on the web page. This first call is the page view event, and the second call is our header uh, ad, and the third call is the ad over here in the right nav. So if I jump over to live events, I can see that three event events fed in, and the first event is my page view. This is the standard information that occurs. You can see UT event equals view. But if I go to my next event, you can see some of my creative information. So I can see my, my advertiser ID, I can see the creative ID, um, and if I go to my third event, it's going to be the same. Um, oh, this is the, uh, the, my second page view, but here's my event for that next one, for my second impression feeding in. So you can see this feeding into the UDH, but let's actually make use of it and apply it to a visitor. So if I go to Enrich Attributes, and filter on my DFP label, I'm gonna take some of that data and start storing it in some visitor attributes. So I'm specifically looking for who's displaying the ad and what creative was displayed. So if I run a trace on my visitor and go to my Telium tools, Once this data starts feeding in, I can look for those attributes being applied to my visitor profile. So the first event typically received is the page view event, so we'll need to wait for the uh, second events to feed in. So you can see right now my event count is one, now it's changed to two. So let's go down and look at my, um, our set of strings. So we can see, here's my creative ID. So you can see now I have two, two creatives that have been displayed to the visitor. And if we look at my call going out, I can verify with my creative ID. You can see it ends in 19413. You can see right here, 19413. 
So by taking the macros from DFP and calling our Telium Collect API, we can send that information into the UDH, apply it to a visitor's profile as part of Audience Stream, and even then you can take this information, send it to Data Access as part of Audience DB, and be able to set a tool like Tableau or Domo on top of this to build some BI reports. And that's how you do impression tracking using Tilium and the Visitor Collect API and the Universal Data Hub. Thanks for watching.